Hello everybody, my name is Hassan and today I will discuss about type font tracking with Google Analytics and Google Tag Manager. If you like to track your type from using Google Tag Manager, then you need some tracking code. And I will share the, all of the tracking code in the video description. You will find this link. You just need to come this page and need to click the copy code button. Then the copy record code will be copied then you need to connect a google tag manager with your website and as well as the tag manager should be connected with your google analytics i am not showing that details thing if you need any help related to google analytics and google tag manager you can comment or contact with me i can help with that to tracking type from with google analytics we need to copy the code i have already copied the code and then finally we need to come to our google tag manager which is connected with my website and finally if we need to create a tag by clicking the text tab and now we need to click the new and from here i need i am just typing a title for this tag js uh, type form submit you can give any kind of name which is meaningful for you then finally we need to select the tag configuration from here you need to choose google anal from here you need to choose the custom html and paste the code which you have already copied and then from the triggering it is perfectly fine to select all pages and save it so we have added our tracking code with our website using the google tag manager now if we go to the preview and this is the page where the type form is available in my website and it is connected with my website and if i scroll down you will see a type form will be appear here and this is the topic type form and if i type something like this test and from here i am choosing any of this and then test and finally if i submit the form the form has been submitted and if i go back to my google analytics preview you see that this is a data layer event type form submit uh, as well as if i click the api call you will see that there is also a form id if you're familiar with google analytics and google tag manager then now i think you are able to use this data layer event to create actual uh, event for your google analytics but if you are not familiar with how you like to send this information then watch the video in the next part so if i like to track this information and send this information in our google analytics for or any other tracking platform we need some work so again i'm going back to my google tag manager from the google tag manager at first we need to create a variables so that we can create a variable for form id so uh, i am click the variables tag and from here you will see that user defined variables and now you need to click the new button and uh, i am just giving name data layer variable uh, form id the name is totally up to you you can give any name which is uh, aligned with your work and finally we need to click here and from here we have to choose data layer variable and if we go to our google gtm preview mode you will see that this is our event name as well as uh, this is the name of our form id if you come to data layer you will see same thing this is the form id so this is the object inside the object we are getting form id as a form id key of this object so we need to copy this name this is the name of the form id this is the value of the form id so we need to copy the name of the form id like this and just paste it here and save it so we have successfully created our variable for form id and then we need to create a trigger by clicking the triggers tab 
we will see this interface then we need to click the new button and then i am giving the name type form submit and then finally the trigger configuration we need to choose the custom event because we are using the data layer event this is called custom event and we need to copy the name event name exactly the name what we see here we can just easily copy from here and then we need to paste it here and save it so we have cre successfully created our variable and our trigger and now it is time to create tag in the tag step we need to create new and then i am showing uh, this information for google analytics 4 so i am giving a prefix ga4 then type on submit and the tag configuration we need to choose google analytics and from here we also we need to try select the google analytics for event and finally this here we need to use our measurement id you should find the measurement id in your google analytics dashboard but i have already created a variable with my measurement id and this is the measurement id and finally you need to use a name the name which you like to get in your google analytics for event the name name will show as a event name in a google analytics site so i am just giving uh for example contract form submit the name is totally up to you how you like to give the name for this event and then finally i am going to event parameters from here i like to add another parameter the parameter name is form id and you know that we have already created a variable for form id i am just choosing this this way and finally we need to select our triggering by clicking this icon we will find our created trigger and this was our trigger and we need to save it so we have completed all of the required thing now it is time to preview it again i am clicking the preview button So we see that this page is connected with our Google Tag Manager preview mode. Now again, if I fill the form with dummy information like this, and submit the form, the form has been submitted. And now if I go back to our Google gtm preview mode we see that again we are getting the type form submit and if we check here tag fired we see that ga4 type form submit event has successfully fired and if we switch to our g gtm tag to z tag here we will see that our event name the name we have given the contact form submit is showing here as well as this information is sending to our google analytics for further inspection we can go to our google analytics from here from the we need to click the admin icon from our google analytics and we need to click the debug view from here we you see that this is debug view i am clicking the debug view and you see that we are getting the contact from submit event which has fired from our google tag manager and it is successfully sent to our google analytics you see this is our exact same event name contact form submit as well as if we scroll down we will see our custom parameter form id so now we are confirmed that everything is perfectly wa working now it is time to submit it you just need to hit the submit button as well as publish it so all are done so this is the way to tracking type form and great thing is that you can use this technique for any kind of type form whether you are using free type form or paid version of the type form all cases it will work perfectly 
so if you like my video you can like the video as well as if you don't subscribe my channel you can subscribe my channel for getting this kind of video more quickly and if you have any question or recommendation or any kind of help you can knock me uh, i will sure give you answer or i will try to help you